Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to a kind of a different um, daily prompt episode. Uh, I asked a question yesterday in yesterday's uh, episode. Uh, it was the, our first Saturday episode, and I and I asked, "Do you guys want me to do seven days a week, or do you just want me to do six days a week and give you a day without Jeff?" Um, and I got sort of a split response. Some people wanted <laughs> seven days a week. Some people wanted um, wanted some time away from me. Understandably. I understand. Trust me. Um, but so what I've what I've decided to do is is I came up with an idea that would satisfy both, and that is an optional video. You don't have to watch today's video. Today's video is 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 uh, well. Today's video is for me. I've decided to create a personal, as you know from the from the title, a personal vlog entry video. So what I thought what I thought I would do is every Sunday, uh, I'm just going to share with you. Well, not even with you necessarily. I'm sort of going to do like a video diary of um, my progress. I'll probably still talk to you because it's the <laughs> it's kind of the nature of how I talk to the camera. Um, but sort of give you a sense of where I'm at, what I'm up to, what's um, you know how my how how my week has progressed, how things are maybe different at different than I thought they were going to be, uh, how how well we're moving towards uh, towards the goals. A um, couple things I wanted to talk about today. First of all, the vlog itself. Uh, this is a big change for me in my life. I've never done this before, and, and uh, I want to sort of report in on how it's going and how it's different to what I originally thought it was going to be. Um, I wanted to talk about the writer's room and the progress that we've that I've seen this week, and that's super exciting. Uh, I wanted to sort of lay out, you know, some personal feelings about it and, uh, and, and maybe give you a sense of where things are going. Um, and again, I'm talking to me, <laughs> so I'm talking to my future self. One of the things that I've learned along the way, and now I'm talking to you. Oh, this is so confusing. Um, uh, along the way, I realized that if you, what you really need to do if you're going to actually take action toward a goal of some sort is you need to record your experience. You need to actually write down. I'm going to make a video about this later because this is an optional video. Some people are skipping this, so I don't want people to miss this really important point. And, but I really believe that, that you need to record your experience. So every day that you take action uh, towards your goal, whatever, you've done it, you go, ooh, that was great, or, oh, God, that sucked, or why am I doing this anymore, or whatever. Um, I think it's super important to record your experience. It's like a daily diary or something. Just write down, you know, I tried to do this today. I was really frustrated by it. Uh, I'm not going to do it anymore. Here's why I was frustrated. Or, or I had a huge insight today. This was my big insight, and this is how I felt about it. If you do that, what happens is later on, if you do that every day, what happens is later on in the process, uh, when you get to the end, let's say you get let's say you get three quarters of the way through the process and you quit or you want to quit, you can look back at where you started and you can see the the progress that you made and you can realize, you know what, I had hard days earlier as well, but because I maintained that optimistic attitude, I, I kept pushing forward, I succeeded. Um, if you if you do the whole experience, if you go all the way from idea to literally screenplay to literally to the sale, and you've documented every step of the way, what happens is when you get to the end, you can see the ups and the downs. So you can see the things that you struggled with and the things that you uh, that were sort of easy. When you start actually sending your work out to other people, and you start getting feedback. From from other people, and you look at, okay, so so let's say you've you, let's say you've written a script and it's awesome. By the way, I'm probably going to say all this again when I do the record your experience video. So really, you don't have to watch this anyway. If you if you send your work out to to, to people and they go, oh my god, your dialogue's terrible, uh, and then you look back at the parts of, on the days where you focused on the dialogue, you're probably going to notice, oh, I'm really struggling with this, or the flip side is, ah, oh, it's too easy, and you just breeze through it, so you didn't really like hook into the meat of it. So, uh, recording your experience, in my opinion, is probably the greatest thing you can do. So, what I wanted to do is sort of do like an adapted version of that, um, rather than do a. Because I'm already doing the videos each day, I think there's a certain element of recording my experience, but um, but in most of the vlog entries, as I as I I'm try, I start when I do the vlogs, I'm, I start with. What's what's like the key point that I want you to understand today? Or what's the key insider idea or whatever? As I start talking, I go on to three, four, ten different other 
insights and sometimes I'll, you know, find my way back through to something. Um, but the, but it's always sort of focused on trying to turn it back into a prompt for you. Um, for today, what I really want to do is just sort of capture the, the, the week that I've had. So I don't want to, I don't want to sort of belabor this too much, but this is really for later on in the future. If, if I, if I succeed in building this indie film studio and we're actually making multiple films and, you know, how cool is it going to be to be able to look back at sort of when we started taking this, when we when we really sort of dug in our heels and started going and be able to watch week one, week two, week three, week four, and like in in sequence, sort of see the progress. Um, for I, I've been working with the with the test writers room group for the better part of a year now. It's probably been eight or nine months. I don't I don't actually remember when we actually started, but um, but it's been a struggle. And the reason it's been a struggle is. Um, I didn't understand why for a while it was going to be such a struggle, but um, one of the, one of the challenges that I had was that they didn't seem to. Let me start by saying, I'm super excited by what the writers' room group has done this week, and the the reason I'm super excited is because I feel like we've made a breakthrough. I felt like reading the writer's room work this week, I can see four to five projects that, that I will literally be able to make. And I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm super excited, but this is the very first time that that has happened. <laughs> One of the things that become clear to me, we've been struggling to make this happen. Part of the reason is because um, I didn't have eight to 10 people who had completed the system who had demonstrated their skills for the writer's room yet. So what I did was I took people who were, you know, committed and serious and, and engaged and uh, enthusiastic about what I'm building and invited them to join the group. Now, probably six of them have not actually completed the whole system, which is not really that much of a problem because we're sort of finding our way, sort of I'm trying to figure it out, figure out how to what's the best way to to systematize it and make it actually work. So we're developing good, cool, original stuff. Um, the The challenge has been that as they go through and they're developing stuff, whatever, they're not really using the system as it's designed to be used. It's like, why is that? Well, because they didn't complete the whole thing. So I, at, at a certain point, a couple of weeks ago, I was actually like around Christmas time, I was sort of thinking, should I just like say, it was a nice experiment for 2018, but we're not moving forward. Um, and then just wait until people actually finish and then work with those people alone. But that could be six months from now. <laughs> that could be a year from now. Who knows? Um, you know, I didn't have the incentive in place yet. So, uh, you know, people, people, writers quit. You know, what, what can you say? Writers quit all around the world <laughs> every single day. Um, so I didn't do that. I said, let's just, let's just try to double down in the new year. And we have. And I think it's leading to some really good results. I'm super excited about it. I uh, can't wait to start working on the productions and take this show out of this uh, space and go, you know, do do daily prompts from behind the scenes of, of our production or, um, you know, wh whatever. Go around and... and, and that's sort of with the vision of where the show is going to go, right, is, is that... Um, so much of it is so interdependent on everything else, right? So it's, it's, it's just one of those, it's one of those challenges, but I do want to say sort of for posterity that I feel like this week, week one of the vlog series, ironically, uh, is the week that I, that I really do feel like we're making a major turning. We, we've, we've turned the corner a bit in the writer's room, in the, in the first writer's room group, the test group. Um, and we're. I think if we, if in future groups we have writers who've gone all the way through the system, completed the whole thing, seen how it snaps together, seen how at once it snaps together, it becomes even faster and, and more intuitive and organic. Um, it, once you have that, then I think a group of eight to ten people who who are there in the writers' room, I think we're going to pump out. I think everyone's going to be able to write a script that we can actually produce. Which I'm, I had a thought this week as well. Of if I can build this as effectively as effectively as I as I want to, are we going to get to the point where there are 
too many writers and too many films. And I, I that's actually I could I started to see that that could be a that could be an issue. Um, but that's a problem that you, that's a bridge you cross when you when you get to that. That's a that's a what's the what's the tragedy of riches? No, what's the phrase? Anyway, tell me in the comments. It's like a it's a problem of riches or something. I can't remember. Um, anyway, so the um, so for um, so I've started to see how I'm going to make the how I'm actually going to make the the business side of it work. At, ironically, going through doing this vlog has helped crystallize what my what my business strategy is going to be. And by business strategy, I don't mean how much, I, 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 I my goal is not to make money off of writers. My goal my goal is to make money off of the audiences to watch the films that writers and I make together. So so when I think business strategy, I'm thinking that side of it. So on I think it's probably going to be on Tuesday's episode. Uh, Again, I don't know. I, I started out with a plan for this last week, and the plan just went haywire. So I can't guarantee this is going to be Tuesday's episode. But I think at this point on Tuesday's episode, I'm going to try to explain how the what, what my business model strategy is going to be. Um, I'm seeing it super clearly. It's totally viable, uh, assuming writers go along with me on the, on the journey. But even if they don't, even on a smaller scale... Um, I can see how I'm, I'm going to I'm going to start implementing. Maybe not the big thing. If, if there's not enough interest in the big thing from the writing community, um, you know, this this will get limited by that. Um, one of the challenges that I've always had, one of the things that's super exciting to me about the the the, the vlog itself, is that. I've been a little depressed over the past couple of years because I built this what I believe is this amazing thing. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Nobody's interested. Nobody shares. Uh, people who started quit. It's like, it's like guys. If you just do it, and and so it's become a little bit. I, I've taken it personally, and, and it's not. It's it doesn't need to be taken personally because, at the end of the day, the what I built, I stand behind what I built one hundred percent, and I know with with unequivocal certainty that it will get us where we want to go. I have kind of blamed writers along the way. And I think what's cool about this show or cool about this idea of doing this daily vlog um, is that I, I'm pulling the, the responsibility for the success of it back squarely onto my shoulders. And that feels right. It feels right to... Stop blaming writers who don't go all the way. Like I, I made that video. When will you quit? And you, I watched it again recently. It's like you can see the frustration. Uh, and I've been super frustrated when when writers quit. But I got to go into it assuming most people are going to quit. I got to go into it assuming uh, only the very few are going to follow through. Like there there are people. Uh, who are watching this video right now, who are loving this series so far, who will quit. Um, I have gotten, along the way, over many, many years, I have gotten super excited when I get a really enthusiastic new person uh, in the process. Because they like, yes, this person's going to go all the way. We're going to make films together. And then they quit. And, it's, and I get depressed. I take that personally. Um, and I've come to realize that... Uh, if, if they quit, they quit. That's not their journey, you know? Um, I'm going to make it happen. And doing the daily vlog has already made me see that I'm going to make it happen. And in, in a way that's difficult to describe, when I started doing the daily vlog, I had an idea of what it was going to be. Probably the first month or so was just going to be uh, establishing context sort of like roll out the big picture um, so that people could fully grasp it. There's a video that I was going to make on day two, which I still have yet to make because the comments came along. The comments were like, I did not expect the comments to be uh, so helpful and so fantastic, so energizing. Um, when somebody asked me a question or even when they challenged me, people have been challenging me or writing uh, you know, borderline negative things in the comments. Not too much, surprisingly, so far. Now I've just invited tons of it. But when 
you know, in in responding to that, I poured as much time and energy into the comments as I have into the show, um, because because at the end of the day, it's not it's not just about the show; it's about I want to help the writer. So, um, in doing so, it's it helps me clarify. One of the things I learned along the way is that, uh, you know, I learn more from teaching than I ever did from doing. It's it's a weird thing because you're forced to answer questions. You're forced to help and 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 make clear things that are unclear maybe even were unclear to you before you were forced to make them clear um and finding that the vlog has that same effect <coughs> for me anyway and for you know I'm, <laughs> i got 20 years experience behind me so there's a lot there so i have a lot to draw upon um but it's it's different than i thought it was going to be the workload is much higher there's a lot more work involved uh, I really do need to increase my to improve my workflow. I I need to be able to do these videos in about an hour, where I'm spending an hour and moving on because I've got the studio thing to build. I've got other writers, and we're developing projects, and there's just a lot. There's a lot to do. So I want to engage the audience on on YouTube with the comments, um, question answering questions, and all that sort of thing. I may have to tone that back a little bit. I'm really fast, so even when I write something really long, it's it didn't take me that long to write it, but. Nonetheless, it still took me some time. So, you know, I, I need to I need to I need to get better time management. At some point, and probably some point soon, I'm really gonna need to have a team. I'm gonna need to have people who like I record the thing and I just send it off to somebody and they do all the post production and chop it into the show and then digitize it, <coughs> put it up on YouTube, put it up on Facebook, put it, you know, turn it into the social media stuff, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I don't have the, the, the money or the or the time or the resources uh, to do that just yet, everything comes everything comes through fast screenplay. So it's uh, fast screen. Every dollar from fast screenplay goes back into fast screenplay. Every or goes into this kind of thing, right? To help to help grow that, so that the more the more that comes in, we can continue to expand that. We can make films out of that, all that stuff. So um, it's you know I don't draw a salary from that, so it's it's a little hard because of that because I don't draw a salary. I don't have the funds yet to pay other people's salary. So it just means that the workload is harder, which is, which ironically is not necessarily a bad thing because it's forcing me to, to improve my workflow. But um, I can see that if, if it, in order to actually scale this thing, uh, to, to grow it, to turn it into something at scale, um, you know, it's going to need, it, we're, I'm going to need more people. So uh, you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping in a month or so when people really get a sense of what's here, uh, that, that we'll get some volunteers maybe, or we'll get uh, some. I don't know. If you want to, if you're interested, reach out uh, Twitter or you know DM me on Twitter, or Instagram, or something, or or mention it in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll find a find a way to get in touch with you or something. But but. But building the big picture, building the longer term, um, is is something I'm really optimistic about. Um, it's fun, even though it's a lot of work, and I can see how to actually, honestly, legitimately make it happen. Um, I could see it in my head before. But it's like the thing, that idea in your head. You put it on the page, and suddenly it meets with the obstacles and the reality. And now, ironically, I'm seeing the obstacles. And the challenges that I'm going to face to actually building it, they're all surmountable. Like there's no there's no obstacle. What's going to stop me? Um, I, I can't think of what's going to stop me. Some guy who says he, I'm an idiot on my YouTube comment? No. What then? Like there's no – some industry exec somewhere? No. <laughs> um, so that's that's really – that's really energizing. Um so as long as as long as there's an audience that wants to come along for the ride, uh, and and watch, as long as there's a handful of people, um, you know somebody there, somebody who's one of the people I've been commenting with, uh, trading comments with, was you know wrote a comment that sort of made this implication that there's got to be some commercial motive at the end of this. So so I'm just I'm putting all this out there, but like what's my end game? How am I gonna how am I gonna turn this into money somehow? And uh, bottom line here, and, I, and I'll talk about this in an actual video so that people who are skipping these uh, see it as well. So you'll hear this more than once. But <clears throat> the bottom line is I, I, I want to help 100 people out there. For every 100 people out there that, that take what I do and, or for every 500 people out there that take what I do and go off and you know, do their thing, 
because I've given all this value out for free. Maybe one will go, I want to be involved with him. I want to join him. I want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to ask for it. I don't want to um, demand it. It's not about that. If you, you're, I'm happy to have everybody here watch for free. That's fine. Because I, I believe that at some point along the way, once we start making the films, people are going to go, yeah, I want to get on the train. So, uh, so, it, so I'm happy to give as much as I possibly can, including all of it, everything I know, uh, for free. So that's what I've, that's what I've committed to with this. I've decided that I'm going to do this daily vlog for at least six months, every single day. That's that's my bare minimum commitment. Um, you know, barring unforeseen tragic circumstances, I guess. Uh, but if I can, if there's enough interest, if there's enough people want to spread the news and tell other people about it and tell your friends how good this show is, if you're liking it or whatever, um, if, if we can expand it and there's, there's a bigger interest and we can sort of use that momentum to continue to build it. I'm, 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 I'm imagining I'll keep doing this for five to 10 years, probably. Um, happy to do so. So there's, that's, that's, I do still at this point imagine if you saw the very first teaser thing or one of the you know, one of the early ones. Uh, I do still imagine it would take about five to ten years to convey everything that's in here, the the experience, whatever. But the other thing that I'm realizing is that as we go along, <laughs> it's not just conveying what I have to this point, because I'm learning new and even more awesome things as we go along. So, um, so who knows? Maybe the show will go indefinitely. So, but I'm happy to offer whatever value. If you have any questions, you have any, uh, uh, see, here's me turning my personal th entry into something for you. I have a compulsion. I have a compulsion. Every time I talk about myself, I want to find some way to turn it around to you and give you some value out of it. Um, anyway, if you do have any questions, though, or you, or you want to know anything at all about anything, um, pop it in the comments and we'll, I'll, I will address it. Um, I may not always address it in the comments. I can see this thing scaling and and just not having time to go into the detail uh, in the in the comments that I am at the moment. <clears throat> the more videos that I make about it, the more that detail will be already woven into the fabric of the show, and that's the coolest thing about it, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm I'm super excited about what this is, and I'm really happy with this decision to to move forward and start this daily vlog. And I, I hope that you guys uh, like it and are interested in it and aren't just sort of nodding <laughs> politely. I fully, I, I am fully prepared for 99% of the people uh, who watch this to not actually take action on any of it. So, but that's okay. As long as you're, <laughs> I mean, that's okay for me for now. Um, Cause if you're, if you're here and you're, and you're supportive along the way, it just gives me juice. So I appreciate that. Um, Anyway, and if you're me watching this in the future, week one, um, off to a really good start, I think. So uh, hopefully a year from now, five years from now, however long it takes, um, you're where we set out for. And this doesn't look like really stupid and naive. Um, I, think, I think it's going to be cool to look back on this and go, wow, that's where we started. Anyway, that's where we started. So... All right, that's enough out of me today. Um, thank you. Enjoy your Sunday. And uh, if you actually watch this far, remember, you don't have to watch these in the future. I will cover whatever I teach, whatever teachable things pop out of my head here. I'll find a way to weave them into the other shows. So you don't have to watch the personal entries if you don't want to. But if you like it, cool. Anyway, <laughs> have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.